Hey girls, Nova here. Thank you so much for sharing all your pictures with me of your telescopes. I hope you were able to gaze into the sky and make more beautiful pictures in your sky book of what you saw. Today, we're gonna continue our journey and learn about the moon. I can't wait to see all the creative stories you come up with about the moon. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Hi Daisies, thanks for joining Nova and I again for session three of our Space Explorer series. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager at Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Thanks again to everyone who joined us for our last session and to those of you who shared your projects with us on Facebook. We saw so many great telescopes. Thanks to Emma from Troop 183 in Alaska, Troop 164 in Hawaii, and Ava from Troop 71884 in Missouri, and to everyone else who shared theirs as well. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's start with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. Is everyone doing their Girl Scout sign? Ready? On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. During last week's session, we made our own telescope to help us observe things more closely. Did you get a chance to observe or look at the night sky anymore during the week? For today's activity, we're going to be observing the moon. So you'll need the moon handout, which you don't need to print, you can just use it for reference. The moon photos, which you also don't need to print. Paper, and your favorite art supplies. Have you ever noticed that the shape of the moon can look different on different days? What do you think is happening? The moon doesn't actually change shape, but how much we see lit up does change. The moon orbits or moves around the Earth, and because of that, the sun lights different parts of it. This makes the moon look like it's changing shape. These changing shapes are called the phases of the moon. That's right, Kayla. The moon is a ball just like Earth, only about a quarter of the size. Do you know what the phases of the moon are called? A new moon, which looks just like this. Then we have what is called a waxing crescent. Then comes the first quarter. Then we have a waxing gibbous, a full moon, a waning gibbous, the third quarter, a waning crescent, and then we're back to new moon. That whole process takes the entire month. Isn't that interesting, girls? Which phase is your favorite moon to see in the sky? Today, we're going to talk about the full moon, the phase of the moon where you can see one whole side lit up. For as long as people have been looking at the sky, they have come up with stories about the light and the dark areas of the moon. Some people see shapes in the moon, like a person's face, some people see a full body, and others see animals, like maybe a rabbit. Let's begin by either looking out your window to see if you can see the moon, or if you can't, use the Moon Photos handout to look at the moon. Here are some pictures of the moon at different times in the sky. Did you know that the moon is visible in the sky for roughly 12 hours a day? Because of this, we're able to see the moon during the daytime and the nighttime. Every day, the moon rises and sets in different places along the horizon. That's based on its orbit and where the Earth is on its journey around the sun. After you've done that, I'd like you to draw a picture of the moon. 
Then we get to make up a story about what you drew. You could tell a story about how the animal you saw got to the moon or why the moon has a face. You can make a skit, sing a song, or tell your story. There are no rules on how you share. All right, daisies. So I finished my moon drawing already and decided to write a poem. And it goes a little like this. A man was sent to space to help keep watch over this place. He's the man in the moon and he whistles a tune and at night you can see his face. That's a great poem, Kayla. Thank you so much for sharing your vision of the man on the moon. All right, girls, while you work on your moon stories, I'm going to read you a story about the sun and the moon. While each of you works on your creative story about the moon, I'm going to tell you a story about the sun and the moon. One day, the sun and the moon had a quarrel as to who was the stronger of the two. The two argued with each other for ages, and finally the sun declared that the moon could not shine if the sun's light did not fall on it. To prove his might, the moon proudly replied, You burn the earth with your heat and give light, but I shine at night and everyone comes outdoors to spin in the moonlight. On hearing this, the sun became angry and he picked up some mud and flung it at the moon's face. The moon tried to get out of the way, but couldn't, and the mud got stuck to him. It is believed that since the moon has dark spots on its face, that's where the sun threw mud at it. That wasn't very nice of the sun, was it? What kind of creative ways can you come up with that the moon has formed its dark spots? If you need more time to work on your story, just pause the video and then start it back up again when you're ready to go. Once you're done with your stories, share them. It could be with either someone else in your house or maybe with a family member or friends through video chat. I can't wait to hear all of your creative stories about the moon and its shape. I hope you'll share them with me and Kayla, along with other members of your family and friends. Until we meet again, try telling a different story. So we learned today about different phases of the moon and how that makes the moon look different. Try telling a story about one of those other phases. How did the moon end up that way? Try getting creative. Nova and I really hope that you had a great time today and we can't wait to see you again next week when we get to turn ourselves into constellations. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.